Walker. Walker. Okay, bring her this what we were doing he was challenging me right right and I was letting him know that he was not smarter than me or more powerful than me right by cutting his every move off right okay so what you really saw was him saying I don't want to do it and me saying yeah, yeah you are. gotta do it movement that you saw, it was right on time. Right. You can see that my body was in motion with the it spirit is. of the dog. Right. Right. It's not 
not insane, it's called root cause symptom. A cold has symptoms. Now, I never worked with your dog, but your dog understood in its language how to sit. Yes. That's their language for sit. This is what humans don't understand. That's crazy. They think that they are. Now, notice that the dog moved out of the position that I had the dog in. So, I'm going to at least snap correct. Hopefully, we caught that. I'm going to bring the dog right back over where it was. And I'm going to tell him to sit and stay again. He moved his head. I was using my peripheral to see that like a regular wild dog. Right. When the dog moves his head, shh, when you ask it to sit, mm -hmm. in their language, shh, they're asking you, can you, they move. Can they move? Right. Okay. okay. So you have to understand, you have to correct shh, that movement shh, every four to five step. And then the dog will eventually just lay down. But right now, we asked the dog to respect my space. As I told you over the phone, I was gonna let the dog know that I was pack leader as yes. soon as the dog came through the door. Right. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, if the dog sees me as a pack leader, then I give him a command like sit and stay or give me my space. Then I've got him, I've given him direction. Now I just gave him his reward, the two packs. Okay. The two packs to a dog is like, a, a Marine, a United States Marine, getting a Medal of Honor every time he brings the captain a cup of coffee. Okay. okay. This is what they live for. Right. When you give them the double pat, what you're telling them is they mean something, okay. that they're worth something. Right. right. And that they're pulling. Right. He got up. I corrected. And I tell him to stay again. This whole process is to make him step until I call him back to me. Right, right. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what we have to do. Okay. Okay? So well, he was doing good. That was my fault. I probably should have called him early. Mm -hmm. Now he's coming into my legs. So what I'm going to do is push him out. And I'm going to tell him give me my space. I like a dog to be about a foot away from me. It's not so much of in your space, it's how he acts when he's in your space. Like okay. dominant, see? Yeah, see that's all he does right. when he stays in my feet. Especially because I have a new one. But look what I'm doing. I'm correcting every time. Okay. What people don't understand is when you correct over and over and over again, they think that the dog is stubborn. That's not true. Okay. It's dog language. Right, right. It can be long, it could be short, short. But the whole process, like we had the dog sit and stay in a relatively short period of time. Uh -huh. But it was not just like telling a human to sit. Right. We had to go through the process of showing the dog. All of that is the language itself. Okay. You see the whole process. So no matter whether it takes 30 seconds or 30 minutes, you're basically saying, translated from human to dog, sit and stay for me. Right. And, and people always, they tell me, oh, Chuck, you're training. No, I'm not training dogs. I'm talking to them in their in language. language that they understand. Right. They don't need to be trained. They're not no. dumb. They have an instinct. That's what they right. are. Right. When I get the baby, uh -huh. that's when he mostly, like, on my feet right. and sit on my feet. Like, he doesn't want me to move or anything as soon as I pick up right. the baby. <laughs> Even as I sit down, it's like he... He doesn't want me, he wants me for him. He doesn't want me to move. Well, what he's doing, he, he's owning you. This is normal to their nature. He's resisting now a little bit, that's normal. What I'm doing is I'm putting the dog back in tune with its instinct. Its instinct is to find a pack leader, to take direction, to do it, and get affection. That's what the dog is born for. Okay. They're not like humans. They only react to anything one of four ways. They're either going to fight, run, avoid, or submit. That's it.
Humans can do 2,000 things when they see an object or right. something, right? Right. No matter what it is, they're going to deal with it the same way. Exactly. Okay? Mm -hmm. So this is what we want to do. We want to make sure that the dog understands that this space here shouldn't be violated, and that makes you the pack winner. Okay. Right. Right. That's why he's doing that now. Now, you notice that he's not invading my space, right? Right. What else do you notice? Is it, Walk over there. He hasn't followed me. Right. He's not invading your space. Right. They're not stupid. We just don't know how to talk to them. Okay. A dog is not dumb. That's when you teach them to sit and stay or to sit, and then you give them the, the affection afterwards. Shh. They get it. The affection means you did it right, and then they do it every time after that. The reason dogs don't do it is because when trainers train them, they just sit and stay and they say, good boy, or they say, give the dog a treat. But what they don't do is an absolute definite, yes, that's correct, and their language is this. Gotcha. That's what they don't get. That's why the dog is sitting and staying now. Yeah, because even when I looked up different things online, they're like, treats, treats, treats. They're always talking about treats, but the more treats that I give him, he's going to be fat and... I, I'll be every quite, looking I should, for a nah, treat every two seconds. I was getting ready to say something on camera. I shouldn't <laughs> say, okay? But I'm not, I'm not dogging other trainers. I'm just saying that we need to make sure that we understand that some people are trainers. That means that they train dogs to sit, stay, come, all that good stuff. Right, right. Normal dogs. Normal dogs. All right. When you get into dogs like I deal with, in their instinct. Yeah, it's probably area. best to stay in your field. Yeah. Right, or you're going to end up making a, a mistake. Making a video like mine <laughs> of how many times I've been mauled. Yeah. Right, right. Okay. So that's what we want. So now, what I'm going to do, well, I'm going to take the dog over here. I know that he had the problem on the leash, right? Yes. So Stop. What I'm, what I'm going to do is keep the tension forward on the leash. Move him a couple inches. Then I'm just going to stop, but I'm not going to let his head not like move down. any direction other than forward. Okay. I'm telling the dog this in his language. You're only going to move forward. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm keeping his head forward. Dogs are like horses. Right. They're, where their head goes, they go. They go. Right. So I'm going to relax the tension a little bit, and then I'm going to ask him to come again. If he doesn't, I'm going to give him a couple. He went a couple, little bit longer that time. Yes. And I'm going to keep the tension forward. Then I'm going to relax the tension. Then I'm going to ask him to come forward again. Do you not think he's snapping? I got to give him a better, better collar. Ah, 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 ah. You don't have to say anything. Watch. Every precise movement that you saw, it was right on time. Right. Now they want to do a movie on my life. I'm in the midst of doing a movie on my life. I'm not going to do it unless I play. Well, I would hope so. <laughs> yeah, somebody younger than me to play me, probably my son. You're younger, you know, younger years. My son looks just like younger years. Yeah. Six foot six. <laughs> <laughs> First rule when you're correcting dogs, always make sure that you have a, a good leash on. When I bring dogs into the center, if you're not taught, I will always put two leads on them. Okay. Normally on all dogs. But here we go. I'm not going to give the dog any other way to go other than forward. He's not stubborn. Every big old stubborn is stubborn. You have to understand, if we don't get the dog to move forward, that means that we're not communicating to the dog the right way. It's not their fault. They're on instinct. I guarantee you that. Everything that they do is based off of instinct. In other words, everything in life, they react to. Two. Okay. Humans interact. Right. They react. Right. Okay. So, uh, if they had a dangerous situation, Depending on their DNA, they're going to react one of four ways. They're going to fight, run, avoid, or submit. If it's an aggressive dog, what is he going to do? He's going to fight. 
Every time. Every time. It's like man. If it's a super dominant submissive dog, what is it going to do? It's going to act aggressive and then when you corner it, it's going to run. Rise. Every time. That's what's important. Every time. Every dog that's dominant and submissive will react the same way. They live within their instinct, their instinct rules them. So, what do we do to communicate with them? Use their instinct against them. Right, their instinct is to be dominated in order to follow, in order to focus, in order to be calm, and then learn. Execute, receive prayer. Pray for moving forward. Mm -hmm. shh, shh, shh. So now I moved him across the room. So we've got the dog over here now, right? Correct. All right. We moved him from over here to sit and stay position to over here and, sit and, and to stay. sit and stay position, right? Right. Okay. We're giving dog direction. Mm -hmm. 